Francis Ford Coppola released a movie that solidified in our collective unconscious the concept of Italian Americans. As murderous criminals who really, really love cannoli. God, cannoli is good. Time has passed, and thanks to HBO, we now realize that Italian Americans are more complex than that. They also go to psychiatrists and have Russian mistresses. And some of them are plumbers who hate turtles. But for the classic Italian-American stereotypes, you can always go back to the original source. Here's our review of The Godfather. It's good to be a part of a family. Especially a family that kills things for a living. Welcome at long last to the world of The Godfather. But is this game worth the wait? Is it a made man? Or will it end up like Joe Pesci and Goodfellas, wearing his best suit face down in a pool of his own vital lubricant? Start your gaming life as a wee shiver of a boy. You've just deposited your first horrific event into the bank and trust of your brain. Papa? Since you can't withdraw anything from there without costly therapy, you'll have to set off on a vindictive murder spree to at least keep the memory of your father's death company. When the time is right, Take your revenge. The Corleones will become your new family. They have values. The fascinating thing about the title is that you weave in and out of famous scenes from the film. You're what happens after Coppola has yelled, cut. Who tapes the gun to the toilet for Michael to find? Who helps Godfather after he's been ventilated? Get the picture? You're in it. The space between these infamous scenes are thick with opportunities to make your mobster bones. I could put you out of business in a hurry, understand? Rise through the ranks of common thuggery and become an integral element of those crazy cannoli-loving Corleones and their dynasty of death. Lee, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some f***ing lawyer. <laughs> True to life, you're a wicked blade in the Italian army knife. You'll set off armed with a fistful of advice supplied to you by some of the film's infamous characters, like old Abe Vagoda. I need one last favor, a hit. What do you say? Along your merry path, you'll put the squeeze on the local American dream for a taste of the action. You'll also uncover larger rackets that they may be sheltering within the smaller businesses. The game has some great explosive detail, and bits of collision are nicely visualized, but there seems to be something lacking in terms of atmosphere. The environments are textureless. There's no real sense of New York's expanse, and all the interiors become all too familiar all too quickly. There's a lot your gaming Goomba can do. Choke, garrote, throttle, molotov, throw people off of roofs, touch rollicking Doxy suggestively. Don't be stingy, baby. But it's the scenarios where you ply these missions that quickly seem like you've been there before. I'm not here for games, pal. I'm here to buy out your share of the take, Kabish. Targeting also seems to have a mind of its own. Auto-aim often chooses proximity rather than threat, which was annoying when the heat was on. All in all, one thing's for sure. Italians make amazing shirts. We give it a three out of five. You know, I wish they decided to include Diane Keaton in the game. I'm deeply into her Caucasian whining. It really made the original movie for me. The possibility of turning classic films into video games has... Really no end of possibilities. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, what? Bridge on the River Kwai, over the River Kwai. Okay, that's like a railroad tycoon game. Gone with the Wind, farming slash starvation sim. Okay, Dr. Zhuang Ho, real time strategy, it's the Russian Revolution, but there's yeah. all these really good melodramatic mini games and icicles everywhere. Oh, that sounds beautiful. While officially licensed game tie-ins for movie releases almost invariably suck, games based on older movies have been more successful. Warriors, the PS2, was good. And, well, there's that. Yeah. So, we had hope when we found out a Godfather game was being released. And then, of course, that hope was dashed when we actually saw it. But the game has been pimped out for its PS3 release, so let's hope it managed to get good in the transition. Here's a review of The Godfather, The Dawn's Edition. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Here we have a game that falls victim to the pitfalls faced by so many films topping the AFI's list of the 100 greatest American movies of all time, which are then adapted for video games. I'm looking in your direction, Bridge on the River Kwai Tycoon. Reminiscent of Grand Theft Auto, The Godfather of the Dawn's Edition accompanies senseless violence and reckless driving with an Academy Award-winning story. Is that a time bomb in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Ha! Huh. I'm pretty sure Mario Puzo didn't write that one. 
With voices provided by Marlon Brando, James Caan, Robert Duvall, and Abe Vigoda, the characters really come to life. Except for the noticeably absent Al Pacino. Everyone needs a favor from time to time. They could get the voice of a dead Brando, but not Pacino. He must be too busy making Merchant of Venice 2. You'll start off as an unofficial enforcer for the Corleone family, and work your way up the ladder until you are finally the dawn of New York City. It's an exciting ride, complete with extorting small business owners, hijacking trucks, and best of all, choking. That is, if you're into that stuff. If you've already played The Godfather for the Xbox 360, then you might think you're just getting sloppy seconds. But lest you feel cheated, there are a handful of new missions, some new locations, and more varied interiors. While these minor additions are an improvement on the original game, they're not quite enough to remedy the lifeless and homogenous world. This is supposed to be New York City, the city that never sleeps. Where the hell are all the people? And if that's not enough to make it seem fresh and new, there's also the deliciously unnecessary and unresponsive PS3 feature of six-axis motion control. Much like herpes, the six-axis just pops up every now and then to remind you that you have it. I bet you can make me feel like a real man. The guns in the game include a 38 Special Revolver, a Tommy Gun, and a Shotgun. You can also mix up the tedious violence with a variety of other fun weapons, including Molotov cocktails, dynamite, garrote wire, lead pipes, and of course, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Don't leave me lonely, honey. With the ability to carry all your weapons at the same time and over 40 scripted execution moves, the world is your brutally violent oyster. In fact, you're rewarded for your brutality in the form of respect. And don't worry about the police. Slip them some cash and they'll be gunning down the enemy with you. Now, we all know that mobstering is a man's world, but prepare to be emasculated by men and women alike. Sorry, you don't look like a big tipper. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna rip your balls off! But accusations of penny-pinching and threats of castration aside, you get a few chances to reaffirm your masculinity. Looks like you got what I need. And if that's not manly enough for you, the more members of a family you kill, the higher your vendetta level becomes. When it gets too high, you can always start a good old-fashioned mob war. So if you like the movie, you may want to avoid this game. What the hell is this? It's a quick marketing gimmick to make a buck off an already well-known franchise. We've come to expect this from the likes of Superman and 50 Cent, but The Godfather deserves so much better. But if you like shooting people and blowing stuff up and disgracing friends at Fort Coppola, then The Godfather delivers. Just not very well. Ah! The Godfather, the Dawn's edition, takes three cannolis out of five. What's this guy watching a movie? Get him out of here! York's shoulders must ache from holding up all that happens on its concrete back. Its polish is chipped, its veins are clotted, its eyesight dim, and its thick hide infested with vermin, from one rat to another. The gullible Godfellas are back to whack the uncooperative with the Wii control scheme in the Godfather Black Hand Edition. If you played the original Godfather game, you'll realize why the cutscenes are so familiar. Fundamentally, they're the same damn game. Sorry, I'll mention the improvements. Don Corleone is a man I respect. Improvements. Hmm. How about changing your angry urchin's facial topography, for example? He's no longer simply a chiseled jawed, smoky, good-looking homicidal maniac. He's the man with the wandering mole. He's Pee Wee Herman's adult theater teacher. He's the host of a 60s kid show. He's Freddie Mercury's motorcycle sidecar map reader. He's the new AT&T. I don't know, it's up to you. Death is in the details and the Wii controls put your hands right around the fates of those you face. Coercion has always been a mainstay of the Cosa Nostra's personal GDP. Shaking down the neighborhood's rising entrepreneurial stars takes on an enhanced sense of joy as you search for just the right ingredients for humble pie. Watch your meters as you threaten. Does our impoverished retailer hate it when you beat his wares senseless? Some people gotta learn the hard way. Or does he hate it when you beat him? This is only gonna get uglier. Either way, watch your Jack Thompson meter. Go too far, and, well, you'll get nothing but a big fat lawsuit of loserdom. Wisdom follows you throughout the game. The lovable lugs of Francis Ford Coppolore are always on hand to teach you new things. Remember this grouper pussed cannoli filleting good fella? He brings the gift of strangulation, like a wise guy at the manger. In macabre fashion, you close the Wii controllers towards each other. Your hands will get tight, you'll begin to shake them, and that's... Whoa, he's dead. 
You'll also be able to grab and toss people around courtesy of the Wii's dual control capability. Pull the trigger, grab hold, and don't let go until you get what you need. Fist fights allowed you to poke jabs and unleash flashy flurries, but the skills of your opponents should not be underestimated. Cars also return more polished, easier to control, and overall better tuned. Aiming, on the other hand, has problems. Auto Target had an extremely riddle and deprived attention span. At times, the camera perspective, as you tried to lock on, resembled a restless border collie desperately looking for something to herd. A four. I ain't touching you with a ten foot pole. Out of five. Say, I'm sorry, but I'm not.